see the sun, I'm rising up, I feel the love now, oh it's in my vision, oh it's gonna take me a little while just to get my head around this moment, and this time it runs on one more more. Hey guys, welcome to the Takeda and Kimberly podcast show, I'm Takeda. And I'm Kimberly, and welcome back for our next episode called The Blind Spot. But before we get started, I wanted to encourage you to join us on your favorite podcast station on Sundays, where we give you an encouraging word to help you through your work week. Yes. And uh, it's called Sunday Salad. Excuse me, it's called Salad. Sunday Salad. Mm-hmm. It's a quick word between 9 to 15 minutes, and hoping something that's said that kind of keeps, keeps you going, know that you are loved, and it can try to encourage you. Just think how much the Lord loves us all and how much he is there with us in spite of what's going on in this world. We are loved by the very best. Yeah, that that should be a great show. So yeah. make sure you tune in. It's one of our bonus shows. Yeah. It's Sunday Salad. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be great. So uh, make sure you tune in to that. Today we are talking about the blind spot. Yes. And um, I got a little help this morning, as you can see, because uh, I got some things written down that's actually on some pink sticky notes and so I realized um, when it comes to like certain small print or printed on a certain color I can't see as well so I got my help of this morning and that comes with age <laughs> yeah. I know I have to have my glasses up have yeah. them down sometimes I can see so I don't know my eyes could yeah. they're challenging sometimes yeah so Kimberly actually wears glasses yes I do um, <laughs> and to see to drive mm-hmm. I can see close up. I can yeah. see far distance. You can't see, yeah, yeah, far distance. Mm-hmm. And I can see far distance well, mm-hmm. but um, close up, sometimes I don't know what I'm looking at. So, <laughs> so uh, I got a little help um, um, this morning because we're going to talk about developing emotional relationships. We're going to talk about going to lunch uh, with your coworker and how many times that you can go to lunch with a person on a regular basis mm-hmm. and start, um, uh, uh, I think, creating an emotional relationship. Uh, should your spouse know? Should your mate mm-hmm. know? Should your partner know? Uh, should you tell them that you go to lunch with this person yeah. all the time, almost every day? Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about relationships yeah. that start appropriately. Innocent. yeah and can become inappropriate yeah. and and everybody's different some people feel like hey can you have certain types of friends mm. um or some some people feel like you can some people feel like you can't and sometimes you spend the majority of your time with your co-workers yes you know you're only home Every for day. eight hours yeah. with your significant other and most of the day you're home you're at work with your co-workers so yeah. it's kind of hard to not have some kind of i say friendly fire yeah. um relationships with people yeah. so you know but you have to set boundaries and we're gonna get to that yeah well. yeah we yeah. you gotta set, boundaries. gotta set boundaries so let's just jump right into it yeah, yeah. eight hours a day at work mm. um sometimes uh getting home you're still busy yeah your your um dinner has to be uh picked up or yeah. cooked right. okay and at work you're emotionally you have to be emotionally present at work right and by the time, sometime you get home, you're so tired. Oh, that's a good point. You kind of check out. So yeah. that's something we need to kind of explore a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, how, that's how that a can happen good so point. easily uh, than not. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And yeah, and, and and I like what you said. You have to be present at work. Yeah. But when you get home, sometimes the people you see or mm-hmm. you love the most is the the people that you take for granted yeah. because you, you feel like the they understand that I'm tired. Yeah, they mm-hmm. understand that I'm wore out. They yeah. understand that my day was full. Mm-hmm. And so when you get home, that's a time to relax. Yeah. That's a time to chill. Um, like I said, you, 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 um, that that's a time also when you begin to to open up the mail mm-hmm. or you begin to 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 um, take care of certain business yeah. um, that that's home start paying bills and all of that that's the time where cooking is going on mm-hmm. maybe washing clothes maybe picking up dinner that's the time where kids are almost getting done with their homework and yeah. stuff like that so um, and you're you're getting ready to end yeah your day. so they're getting the the crumbs <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're getting the crumbs and it, and it can be very dangerous so yeah. I think we have to be conscious of that uh, right. when you're working I say mostly present you normally, because you're they're paying you to do a service at your job, exactly. so it's you know you're you're all the way in, and by the time you're home, your family sometimes gets their crumbs, and that can be very very dangerous, and that is definitely a blind spot right there. Let's yeah. talk about it because it happens yeah. a lot 
in society mm -hmm. when you deal with and this is the things that we're going to be dealing with yeah. when we, we, we talk about that we're going to be talking about connections mm -hmm. and vulnerability sharing and openness all of those mm -hmm. things that we begin to do yeah. when we're working with people let's talk about that blind spot because mm -hmm. i i ministered it many years ago and um i know just um, um by my position mm -hmm. Um, at the time that a lot of people caught themselves in certain situations yeah. where they were creating relationships yeah. that were inappropriate, yeah. but it started off innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let, let's 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 deal with that right yeah. now. Let's deal with that now. I do have a question. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do have a question. I wrote it down, mm -hmm. um, my own question. And um, should you let your spouse know? Um, if you are going to lunch on a regular basis with, with a person, with a coworker, you're going to lunch with, 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 with Sarah or Judy or Mark on a regular basis, should you let your spouse know, or is it any of their business that they need to know, or is it just something on a job, uh, that I think you just do? If you have to ask that question, you do. Okay. Um, if you're starting to wonder in your mind, does my significant other know, or if this is a secret, or you're thinking, if somebody sees me, and it could be innocent, but if you're starting to question yourself, if somebody sees me, uh, it makes you feel kind of funny, then yes, I think you should know, because sometimes the, the, perspective, the perception of that, if you're out to having lunch, and you, when you run into somebody you know from church, or somebody in your family, they can assume that. So i rather tell my uh, spouse, hey, I'm having lunch with X, Y, and Z before they hear from word of mouth. And I, and I think it's very dangerous, I do, especially when you're, like we said earlier on, if, you're going, if, you're, if your family's getting the crumbs because um, you're so tired, because sometimes it does happen, when it's, just, it's not something I boast about, but if your family's getting the crumbs of after work, you're most likely confining in somebody else, unfortunately. I'm not saying most likely, not even just your personal life, just your job stuff, you know, things you have in common at work, and you, they start off so innocent, and then by the time you get home, your husband or wife doesn't want to hear about all that all day long. You want, they want your time, your presence. So you think, okay, well, let me go talk to this person here who knows what I'm doing at work. And it, it can be, it's a, it's a very dangerous chemistry. So I think, uh, yes, your, your significant other should know if you're having lunch with this person on a daily basis. And I, and I think, and I don't think it's also appropriate for that very reason, because we are, uh, we are created for relationships. So something can be so innocent can gradually turn into that. Uh, where you start seeing this person in a different light. You start downplaying your relationship at home and you start comparing apples to oranges. And that is a small little crack that Amy needs to destroy a family. So to, question, to answer your question, I, I think you should let your significant you know, other know. Some people do believe mm -hmm. that um, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because again, like I said, just talking to other people and the, the way they've been taught right. or you know, just feel like, I can be friends with my ex. We can hang out. We can go to lunch. Uh, you know, you know, we could we could just be friends, mm -hmm. and that could be true mm -hmm. in one person. This is the reason why I feel like it's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Or if if you want to call me and talk to me, and your spouse or mate doesn't know how many times you're calling me that or talking it. to me, yeah. Or they're never home mm. when you call me or talking to me, yeah. or they are never in the car yeah. when you call me and talking to mm -hmm. me. Then That's a clear indication is a problem. That yeah, yeah. then that to me mm. is you you have to look at it yeah. because it could it even though it seems innocent. Mm. Um, it could be inappropriate. Yeah, and, and that's a blind spot. And that is a blind <laughs> spot a blind because spot. you might feel like, oh, you know, when we were together, we were just the best of friends, and mm -hmm. I want to continue to keep that friendship relationship. And I know some people have good relationships mm -hmm. with, um, or good co-parenting relationships. Right. That's different. Yeah, that's, that's totally you got to co-parent. Yeah. That is totally mm -hmm. different. That's this is not what we're talking about. Right. Co-parenting. We're 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 not. Um, we're not um, talking about anything mm -hmm. pertaining to children. Mm -hmm. We're just talking about relationships. Right. Relationships. And, and I think too, when you're in a committed relationship, rather married or just a commitment, because mm -hmm. you're going to be pl plan on marrying, I think you have to protect that by all means. Right. And and, and it takes a small little door, a crack, not yeah. even a door, a crack, to go in and destroy that. And I think when you love somebody, you want to protect that person rather with you 
That's or, true. Or, or not with you. Yeah. And so uh, if you're if you're somebody's calling, yeah. And like they say, if you're in a car, you have to call. When when you're yeah. once your wife is out the car, you make the phone call to call that person. Yeah. And it might you might say, I just we're just cool. Yeah. If you can't do it with your wife around you, or you can't do it with your uh, significant other around you, mm-hmm. then that is a blind spot. Yeah. And you're opening your door for a for some. Emotion and parent, it could be emotional attachment there already mm-hmm. that needs to be severed because it just it's just you don't want that you don't want that on your you don't want to work yeah. issues yourself and yeah. in your heart of hearts and your thoughts you may think right. that uh, it's innocent because right. this is a person that you cared about and you guys were cool in your heart of hearts you may think that it's innocent yeah. but like you said you really have to sometimes not just protect yourself, but protect the other person. Yeah. Like I had a situation where I felt like I could be friends with this person, yeah. but I didn't want to be their friend. Mm. You know, I could be, I felt like I could be, and I still feel today, I literally can be friends with this person, mm. but it takes two to tangle. Yeah. So in your mind, you say, I, I, I'm not attracted to this mm. person. I have zero interest in mm. this person. I can be cool with them, but I know how they feel about me. Yeah, and that's the difference. That's yeah, the difference. I know yeah. how they feel about me. Yeah. And because you know how somebody feels about you, maybe you're 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 no longer feeling them mm. in that way. But you see that they're feeling you. Right. It is unfair for you to continue to so have a certain type yeah. of friendship with a person that you know that either has a crush on mm. you, that is weak for you. Mentally. Because you can go in a situation where in we're friends. I, 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 I no longer have anything for you, mm. but the longer we're, 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 we're together, your, your weakness for me mm. might, uh, break my walls down. Right. That's good. Your yeah. weakness for me might influence me. Mm. I might be caught at a weak moment, mm. you that's know, good, yeah. because you're only human. So yes, I do feel like we can, we can have friends. Um, but you have to understand boundaries too. Mm. And you, and, and there, there should be boundaries in any relationship or friendship outside your mate or your spouse. There should be boundaries and you shouldn't take anything for granted because even in the Bible says we all, you know, we, we, we've all sinned and fallen short. short. And, um, yeah. And we all have temptations. We Mm. all have weakness. You could be, happy in your relationship, Mm -hmm. happy in your marriage, but anything that you invest in takes time. Mm -hmm. So just invest it in a friend or another friend, um, outside your relationship without boundaries can be dangerous. Uh, Dr. Fred Price from California has a, uh, faith church and it's, it's, it's global, it's Mm -hmm. international. And uh, one of his wife was uh, speaking at one of the leader conferences and that's the only reason why I'm using this as an example and um, she told her husband she said you know I'm not coming to church Sunday mm. and until you get out of this inappropriate relationship mm. and he said I'm not in an inappropriate relationship she said I'm not coming to church Sunday I'm not supporting you until you get out of I'm paraphrasing now mm-hmm. to this inappropriate relationship yeah. he said I'm not in an inappropriate relationship so he deemed an inappropriate relationship as sleeping with someone mm emotionally but she mm. saw a connection yeah she saw a emotional connection mm-hmm. so before we even talk about sex before yeah. we even talk about intimacy in that way understand mm. that there are boundaries uh and lines that b- can be crossed um based on your emotions and those are the worst and, kind of relationships and, and, i think and honestly yeah. and I'm, not, I'm not trying to be biased against one gender but especially when it comes to women mm. because we uh, like to be emotionally connected yeah. to our friends, emotionally yeah. connected to our family. We we want to be emotionally connected, mm-hmm. and we all know that on both ends, you can you can you can mess up or you can fail, you can cheat. Uh, a, a male figure mm-hmm. can actually fall mm-hmm. and have zero connection with that person. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. a female figure could I I you could not sleep with a person and become emotionally connected yeah. and what fault the body follows the brain mm. eventually. That's true. That is true. You yeah. Know? And like I said, emotionally, emotionally connected is worse than sleeping with someone. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, you're, you're sharing all these intimate details and, uh, I think it's very dangerous. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, just agree with what you're saying. Yeah. hundred percent. I think yeah. it's very dangerous. So 
having those conversations with someone at work about no. your personal life, I think it is a no. dangerous, dangerous thing. And, and like I said, everybody don't think alike because, mm-hmm. uh, again, me having my own experience about having a particular person call me constantly, mm-hmm. call me because they, they we just want to be friends. They just want to mm-hmm. be friends. But I'm not not being your friend because I don't care about uh, you as a human being, mm-hmm. but I have to think about me as a woman. Mm. Do I want my spouse's ex to be calling them? Mm, that's true. And yeah, that's am good. I sowing a seed that I don't want to reap? Amen. To you that. know. That's so good. you yeah. sometimes it's not about what that person mm, spouse good. knows or what that person mate knows. Right. It's about your own integrity mm. you're protecting that person you're protecting that person and mm. you're protecting yourself yeah. so you can be the strong person mm. but For you the being moment. the strong person yeah, yeah you you can be the strong person what i mean by that is you can be the strong person to make the decision mm. that i'm not going to allow my sh- my 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 strongness mm. to be weakened mm. because I understand that I'm only human. Amen. That's good. I understand that That's I good. am flesh and I am blood, mm. and I'm not gonna take for granted that I'm just because I'm not attracted to you today. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm not gonna take for granted <laughs> right. that just because I'm not feeling you That's today right. that I may not be feeling you tomorrow mm. if you catch me in a vulnerable position. That's, That's perfect. That's good. Actually. And that is really. Good. I said yeah. to myself, and mm. I continue to say to myself huh, I don't want to sow a seed that I'm not willing to reap Amen to in that, other yeah. words if somebody is calling my phone and I know we're cool like that I I I, I, I can answer my phone and I can be cool with you mm. but I know if I continue to do that and you're calling me and your wife doesn't know how much you're calling calling me or or, or blah 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 then how would she feel if she knew Mm, that. That's good. Yeah. If she knew, even if she's cool with me, and she's like, you know what, Takita is cool. Right. 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 But would she like the fact that we're talking every day just because? She, yeah. Would she like the fact that on your lunch break we're talking for an hour? Yeah. And, she, and you said something a minute like ago. That? You open. What you do is you open a door for your spouse. For instance, yeah. if you're doing this conversation, you're planting these seeds. You're gonna open a door for your, the person who doesn't know about it. Yeah. And uh, and also you said something too, that was, which is good. I think too. You were saying that. Um, it might you might be the strong you might not have no feelings but that person has feelings towards you and they're calling you don't want yeah. to cultivate what they're feeling exactly and that's dangerous that's, and that, encourage that, that, that's what yeah, encourage cultivate. it encourage yeah. it encourage that because you might hate you, you might get on the phone and say and, and and we've done it before but hey talk to someone it's nothing to it nothing but that person has a little crush on you you're gonna you might cultivate in their own heart thinking it's something yeah. there nothing's not there so yeah, I, that was a very good point you made. Uh, yeah. Some people are strong to have that, that conversation. Yeah. It might be no, have no kind of feelings. Yeah. But that person on the phone has a little bit of feeling towards you, yeah. and they're going to start. It's going to get. It's, it's, it's just going to continue to grow yeah. and grow and grow. And you might not even see it. Yeah. It might be innocent you're in, but yeah. that's that, why it's called the yeah, blind spot. The blind, that's why it's called the blind spot. Hundred yeah. percent right. But yeah, that was a, that was a good point. That was a yeah. really good point you made. It could be the other person, not yourself, and yeah. that could open up a door, and that, that yeah. is a blind spot moment. Yeah. And that was really good. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and you um, you just want to be careful. Mm-hmm. You know, you yeah. just want to be careful because the enemy can come in in so many different ways mm-hmm. wherein we're just having fun. How right. did this end up happening? And you're, you're, you're messing up, you know, uh, two homes. Yeah. You know, uh, um, and like I said, a blind spot, mm. when we were talking about blind spot, remember, sometimes... You can see it, something that the other person can't see. Mm. Uh, the other person can't see something that you can see. Mm. Or, or the other person can see something that you can't see. Right. That's, yeah. yeah. And, and, and so to be a good friend mm. sometimes is to not answer the phone. Let me mm. tell you how the enemy it's works. Good. Because the enemy will say, oh, you're hurting their feelings. Mm. Oh, they're feeling dissed. Mm-hmm. Or you're being mean. Mm-hmm. And and in your heart of hearts, mm. because that's why you got to check your spirit. Because sometimes the enemy allows you to say, "I can have friends, 
and but that the the flesh of yours down deep no you you want you you want to reconnect yeah you mm-hmm. know what I, you want to reconnect yeah. with that person yeah. because y'all had fun together mm-hmm. the chemistry mm-hmm. was off the chain and you don't have that with your spouse you don't have that same chemistry right. and so i can have friends there ain't nothing wrong with having friends true mm-hmm. but you have to be careful and you have to really check your intentions yeah what's your motives yeah, yeah. you have to mm-hmm. really check your intentions yeah. and, it, and it doesn't mean that you can't have friends but again um you don't know how that person thinks how that person processes mm-hmm. things and you can go down memory lane mm-hmm. and memory lane can take you down the street you like that you can't door. make a u-turn <laughs> you got that right you're the dead zone <laughs> what they call it it's not an end zone, zone yeah, end not zone. a U- u-turn Man, it, it's so not a true. cul-de-sac where you can right, just turn right, around right. Not a cul-de-sac. it's just an right. end it's zone there's nowhere else to go that's right <laughs> i mean yeah you reap what you sow, so yeah. be careful. Rather in kindness, mm-hmm. rather uh, you know. Yeah. In- and and uh, and mm. from my personal experience again, which I'm talking um, uh, really personal. Yeah. Um, I ask myself, just as a woman, you know, what I want this, do, do, what I want my spouse to be doing this, what yeah. I want my spouse to be calling somebody else. Yeah. Saying, hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm not insecure. Right, right, but right. But what of I course, want them to continue want. reaching out to a person, yeah. watch this, that they were in love with. Yeah, that's good. Would I want my spouse constantly reaching out to a person that they 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 was in love with and it, yeah and it's totally disrespectful you know yeah and, and, yeah i was i was in love with this person right. in high school so i'm gonna keep calling yeah, them yeah. and and so that we can just be friends right and it, it again innocently that may be how you think yeah. but when a person is mature mm. they understand that life is not that easy Mm. life is complicated at Mm -hmm. times that's true and sometimes the best decision Mm. is to go ahead and say that was a past Mm -hmm. great friendship at that time yeah but i you gotta move on yeah gotta move on that's good and i think too you don't want i don't want to ever have um i don't want to be in a relationship where your spouse feels like this this person has something over your spouse Mm. like i don't want my spouse to think that okay this person had we had this secret thing together mm-hmm. my work person or uh, if they've been thinking that you know this is just something we have together mm-hmm. that just seems like a, a betrayal to me so it, i don't yeah, want that is so important i don't want that so you know, I'm, I'm you gotta be careful uh treading that because that's what you're indicating and if you know and it might be something innocent but that innocence is going to turn to, to a serious yeah. pothole you, and yeah. that's so that's so true kimberly because you never want the person that you're seeing the person yeah. that you're dating the person that you're in a committed relationship to with you never want them to feel like they're second. Yeah, they're second. I mean, or or, or somebody else is. Y'all have a different kind this of this little secret thing. Y'all you have. have something yeah, special, yeah. or y'all have a special friendship yeah. more than the one that you're dating, or committed yeah. to, or married to. Yeah. You never want your spouse to feel like that. That is dangerous. It's very dangerous. And like I said earlier, you open their, you open your spouse up for their own battle. Mm-hmm. You know, when you don't cover them yeah. uh, at home and also cover them on, outside of it, they're not in your presence, yeah. you're opening them up for all kinds of things, yeah. point blank. Yeah. I mean, there's no way of getting around it. So I think you, when you think you're doing the right thing, yeah. you think this is innocent. If your significant doesn't, other does not know, it is not innocent. So beware of those blind spots. They are there. Mm-hmm. Protect your uh, relationship by any means necessary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because then you, down. Yeah, you find yourself uh texting them yeah yeah because you just start looking at your spouse them. at home all this all the shortcomings they have and mm-hmm. thinking this other person can fulfill those shortcomings and then you're starting it's just it's just it's just dangerous i just recommend it don't do it don't start it don't cultivate it don't massage it don't sleep with it, don't dream with it it is very dangerous if you if you really love your spouse or person you're with i tell you do not even entertain those thoughts because you're looking into a a, a heartache, a breakup, because of fact, is it worth losing? Look at my microphone. Is it worth losing someone you invested in, someone you care for, for somebody who's not may not be perfect? They have that 80 20 thing they say 80% is mm-hmm. on point, 20%. You have small little potholes. That's yeah. the any relationship. You're not going to find any relationship perfect. But if you have that 80% mm-hmm. <laughs> that is, um, you know, doing very well and is buildable and you continue to build from that, and that 20% is, has, that's a, that, that's a, a shortcoming, mm-hmm. it's not worth you losing that right. uh, 
on the blind spot moment. Right. I had a, I had a coworker. I had a coworker of mine. Are we, many first years of ago. all, are we being too self righteous here? I don't think so. No, yeah, I okay. mean, I, no, I know, not at all. I'm just saying. I, mean, I was saying I had a coworker years when I was working for Corporate America, mm-hmm. who you know, this gentleman who was at the office there. He started off bringing her coffee to work, and he was married. Started bringing coffee to work, and he was, you know, and, she, and I, I would tell her. That, you know, be careful. She said when she was saying, "No, it's innocent. He's a nice guy." And they start off a good friendship, and then weeks and months pass by, and she comes to my office and says, "Hey, we just had a relationship. We had a slip up, and all hell broke loose because of that." Mm-hmm. So you know, it started off a little small coffee here. He bring a little small lunch here, and and you know, it, it was just dangerous. And yeah. I, and I and I was not trying to be funny, but I've always. I just wouldn't accept small yeah. things. I just, yeah. That's just me personally because yeah. I, I, I know that can start that kind yeah. of way. And, and people do tend to get t- attra- attached to you very quickly yeah. uh, sometimes. So yeah. uh, I might it, cut this part out just, anyway. No, it just, no, yeah. it's, it's important because I, I know so many situations like that. Mm. And again, like I said, be, having your own experience yeah. too with people that you know have a crush on you, yeah. with people that you know like you people that you ended up being in an emotional relationship yeah. with that by the grace of God you got out of one of the things that I did want to go back to mm. I, I kind of forgot and I was on the point and I forgot about it mm. was that how I know with me um uh I I was single at the time just really um getting saved and I I know with me sometimes I'm going back to this. The enemy make you feel like you're mean. You're mm. being mean. Mm-hmm. You're being mean. You're being nasty. Now, this is the difference. But when you're trying to do what you can yeah. to do the right thing, yeah, that's true. Sometimes yeah. you're gonna seem mean, right? Or you're gonna seem like, oh, you're you're acting funny. Somebody mm. gonna say, oh, you, oh, you can't speak. Mm. Oh, you can't answer your phone anymore. Mm. Oh, you can't answer your text anymore. Oh, you're acting funny. And the enemy will make you feel like. Well, you're not being Christian like mm. because you're ignoring that person. Mm. You're not being Christian like because you're not answering their calls. Mm. What you are doing is you are being wise. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You are being wise. Yeah. I- I'm telling you that based on my personal experience. Mm. Every now and then, I did feel guilty about certain things that I did, and I still do. Mm. But you have to understand, sometimes it's not about you're good. Yeah. It's about you know that that person ain't good. That's they true. might think they're good. Yeah. yeah. You get me? Because remember, when we talked about the blind spot, sometimes you see things and God see things mm. that others don't see. That's true. And others see and God see what you don't see. Mm-hmm. And you are being wise. Mm-hmm. Or you might be the one that's offended that Sarah didn't text you back or Mm. Bob didn't text you back or Joe didn't text you back or they didn't answer the phone. You might be the one that's offended by that, but they might be saving you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They may not do it because they don't like you or they don't care about you or they don't care about your feelings. It may not be the fact that they don't care about you or don't care about your feelings. They don't want you guys to get in a position where later you won't will regret. Yeah, that's so, so true. I was in my mind thinking for a quick second, uh, to use myself an example, yeah. when I was working in corporate America and I was uh, uh, married at the time, years mm-hmm. when I was married at the time, and we were having major issues at home, mm-hmm. I can be real about that, and there was a coworker that I had there, and yeah. I think about that, and I remember him, um, he was very attractive to me, he looked mm-hmm. like me, and he was asking me questions, very respectful, but he mm-hmm. asked me one question, what are some of your dreams? And I knew, don't even ask that question, Something that's even even problems I was having back then. Something that, uh, by the grace of God, literally, mm-hmm. I knew if I asked this question, it's, it's gonna be a turning point in my life. And he said, "What are some of your dreams?" So my point is, you have to know when that thing sits up beside of you, when the Holy Spirit, sits, uh, your conscious, I call it the Holy Spirit, tells you this is a flash. I mean, because that can be a, that could have been a turning point where yeah. you're into something you don't want to get involved yeah. into. And I'm just here thinking about what you're talking about. Yeah, that's like, good. That was my blind spot. Yeah. And uh, he said to me, what are some of your dreams? Or it wasn't your blind spot. Right. It was his well, blind, blind spot. Well, his blind spot, should I say. Yeah. But it could have been mine, though. It could have been, been yours. Mine. But by for literally, sure. I didn't even answer the question. But right. It, but I thought about but the question. But you was on it. I was, I was on it. But I remember getting in my car thinking to myself, Dad, yeah. you know, 
this person is curious act, about yeah, my, my dreams, dreams. Yeah. and you know and, and so it, 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 it's a balancing act yeah. you know that's why home has to be kind of really yeah <laughs> on it Amen. because it, it, it can take two, two innocent people and it was a, a yeah. person i knew very respectful person i knew and and i was a respectful person mm -hmm. and both of us were good people but that could have turned to something totally different yeah. Uh, so I was thinking to myself when you said, "Oh, we're being too righteous." I said, "Wait, let me go back in my mind here. Can, am I being too righteous? Could I? Could is there a time in yeah. my life where?" Because you there couldn't answer times. that question. Yeah, but but and I could have went down memory. That, but I went, that, I went yeah. my car. So I think to myself, "Dang, you know what else?" I had to go in my mind. But by the grace of God, I literally knew not to answer that question. Mm -hmm. I knew if I answered because I was already vulnerable already, mm -hmm. uh, and I knew at that moment if I answered that question. It can be something totally different yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Because other people will hear, well, they dog. Right. He just asked, what were dreams, your dreams? But also depends on what's going on in your home. Yes. It's, it's a lot. It's but, a lot. But, but a you saw lot something you. else. And yeah. again, you were protecting what could be. That what could be. So sometimes yeah. it's not about um, when when somebody says, and I know I keep harping on this because mm -hmm. again, it's it's a, it's a, it's an experience that I have yeah. had over the years. Mm -hmm. But it's a very serious thing. Because some people can say, oh, she's making a big deal out of nothing. Mm. Or he's making a big deal out of nothing. Yeah. And if you've seen over the years how a lot of people made mistakes yeah. that were good people. Yeah, yeah. It was because the in because of those questions right, right there. Yeah. What and, are your dreams? Yeah, and this guy, because I, of, I knew he had a crush because on me Because of too. the cup of coffee. Yeah, but this person, he actually had a crush on me. Exactly. He was very respectful, had a crush mm -hmm. on me. But you open that door to entertain that one little thought, you give him fake hope. Yeah. You know, yeah. and you're not only that, if you you're not covering your household. Yeah. So you just I I was like, nope, 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 nope. And the thing about it is, it could be for 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 you or for anybody else in, in some situations, it could be a person you actually really do like. Yeah. As a friend. As a friend. Like right. I really it, wish yeah. I could talk. There's yeah. been times I was Man, driving down the street better, when it's the know experience it. yes. I've had yeah. experiences I've had, to be honest. I feel like, man, I really would love to talk to so and so. Yeah, because right. that person is so, so cool. cool. We get along so yes, well. Yes. So it's not that I don't want right, to talk right, to so right. and so, but I know that where it's going to lead. Yeah, that's and the thing. that's when you have to be a mature yeah. person. Yes, indeed. Yep, that's, that's when true. you have to be a mature person. Yeah. And that's when a wife that doesn't mm. know will tell you mm. if she did know. Amen to that. Thank you for looking out for my husband. Yes, indeed. Yeah, praise he the don't Lord. Need, he was having a blind spot. Right, right. <laughs> Thank or you she, for looking right. out for my wife yeah. because she was having a blind spot and yeah. didn't know. Right. So, yeah, and he probably wanted to know Really, what were your dreams? Right, right, right. Because right. guess what he was trying to do? He was trying to connect. Yeah, trying to connect. And I, and I knew that. Yeah. I knew. I, 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 I How felt, can I connect with I this say, beautiful mm, woman mm, that I like or yeah. seem so interesting? Yeah, and so, yeah, and I was like myself. Some people can just admire you. Yeah. And, yeah. and they they just want to know you more. Yeah. And they and, and you can and you see that little thing going up in mm. you. Pay attention to that that mm -hmm. little buzz. I don't care if it it may not be a red light. It could be an amber light. Mm -hmm. I remember right. Pastor Kelly and preached on the amber light. You know what the amber light is? The yellow light before the red. And how you can handle that situation too? You can say if somebody asks those questions, you can say, you know, me and my husband we were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. That's how we respond. Me and my wife we were just talking about that. Just a buffer for yourself. Yeah. And it might even be the truth, but just a buffer. It's just because yeah. that person has some things in their head mm -hmm. that's spinning. Mm -hmm. My go-to would be is, oh, my husband, we were just talking about that the other day. Yeah, well, I'm going to do this. We're going to be doing so-and-so mm -hmm. and so-and-so. So that's a buffer. Let them know that, hey, this door is closed. Exactly. Might, if it's, if it's, if it's something good. innocent there, I mean, if, it's, if, it's, if, he has, if he has something lingering in his head, something so, something totally different, that's your buffer. Yeah. Join the two together. Say, yeah. Me and my husband, we were just talking about that. Me and my wife, we were just discussing that. Let them know you two are one. If, mm -hmm. if not, it's just, whew, it's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs>